everyone, welcome back to my corner. These corners, to be exact. So, I gotta get back in the swing of a lot of this intro because it's been a minute. So, thank you guys so much for hitting the subscribe button while I was gone. And make sure you hit the subscribe button now because we're gonna be, you know, coming back with some more videos. So, make sure you hit the notification bell. And when you do hit both, make sure you also follow me on Twitter at these corner because if I'm not making a video here, I'm like, talk about. The ladies drama over there so please make sure you follow me on twitter at these corner even though right now twitter and instagram got something going on but follow me there when i get back up and going a germany girl came out and exposed dv about three weeks ago and she recently just went live i think this week um even though it's just like on monday but she recently went live and she wanted to address more on the comments about the DDG and the Germany girl situation. Now, Savannah is definitely is getting tired of being known as one, the girl who got played and, you know, trying to get DDG's attention or trying to get clout from DDG because apparently people still think to this day DDG can make anybody compared to my last comments on my last video. A, a, People can, you know, you know, glow on their own without him. He doesn't have that much power to make anybody that famous, which I do rock with him. But I just got to say it. But let's talk. Let's be real. Let's be honest. I think a lot of people don't like or agree on how honest I can be. So that's probably what it is. And I like to speak facts. But apparently she just tired and she's moved on with her life. She posted a video um a while back and she was like saying like y'all are getting on her nerves in the comment section every five minutes you turn around it's ddg ddg learn who savannah is away from that's what i was trying to say in my last video learn who kennedy is know who kennedy is before you say kennedy didn't make it on her own she was okay let me just throw this out here Kennedy Simone had coins before she met Daryl. And then she's doing better without him. See, I said it. Yep, I said it. And I'm going to say what I believe. But okay, so, um, so this video, she kind of like sped up with everyone. And she sped up with not only everyone, but she sped up with DDG because he has not really, you know, came out and told. I guess she wants more from that video. She wants more, and she wants him to be honest and want everybody to come forward. Like, want him to come forward and be like, hey, cool it with that, like, automatically. So, this is what Germany Girl had to say, y'all. But I did, and um, it was okay, but I'm really tired of the storyline that I'm just a naive European girl that flew to L.A. and, like, caught feelings, and I'm just hurt that he didn't pick me. Whatever BS he's talking about, like, that's not what happened. And the funny thing is, he thinks I, he thinks, <laughs> he thinks that I don't still have messages that negate everything that he's saying. Um, and the people that, like, are hating on me for telling the truth, like, speaking up for myself, they can go. The people on this account are real supporters of mine, I feel like. Like, whoever's following this account, like, you're damn near real like you're my friend like you're my private instagram account anyways um yeah i'm just tired of it so all the video cut out but anyways um like the whole ruby situation they were talking before i got to la because this girl literally dm me when i got back to berlin talking about i'm gonna show everything all the receipts i have all the messages i have everything i have um i don't use only fans to what it's supposed to be used for anyway so i'm just gonna put it in there i'm gonna lower the price and they're like ten dollars so y'all can go in there and see um it's like midnight 30 right now in berlin i'm gonna give y'all like 12 to 24 hours to go subscribe to that and then whoever subscribed to the only fans i'm gonna send y'all directly in the dms all of the messages so y'all can literally read through what was going on i'm tired of playing nice i'm tired of not saying what i need to say like I just need to get this stuff out and move on because I'm not just some naive, not European girl that flew on cop feelings like, no, I didn't like the guy that much. I'm in a relationship now with a real man. Anyways, I'm going to put the link to the OnlyFans in my bio. Y'all have like 12, 24 hours. I think this time tomorrow, I'm going to send everything in DMs. So give y'all some time to go subscribe to that. Um, yeah. 
he used me to pay for what to <laughs> he used me to pay for vacation for Ruby so I can use him to pay for my school. Honestly, that's the type of energy I'm on now. So I just want this shit to be over with. I want it to be done for. Everything needs to be put out and then move on. Cause I'm tired of me being the nice little girl. Like, no, that's not what we're on. So subscribe to the OnlyFans, link in bio. Love y'all. In that video that she just recently uh, went live was kind of clarifying from the video she called out DDG. I have to say this. Sorry, dear. Now, you know it gets serious when people don't call you by your stage name or your nickname. Then also, she, you know, gave some time for DDG to respond. And he also, you know, responded back with Germany Girl. But I personally think his response was well respectful mannered and decent it wasn't like calling her this or it wasn't like a riley response like because y'all remember that riley situation we don't want savannah getting herself caught up into the riley situation because i feel like with this situation here you guys i feel like you girl if you don't expose ddg you should expose it with the actual video you posted with the i have to say this video not try to you know come up with other stuff because you gotta have when you expose somebody okay let's let's listen to what ddg had to say in a response to germany girl i and then apologize we'll go on their behalf but you know i don't want you to feel like i used you or nothing like that I but you know what you're doing man like you didn't have to make no damn you really felt some type of way you could have hit me up and was like what should i do but i'm tired of your but uh yeah man that's just what it was fair exchange in my end i feel like it was a fair trade you know what i'm saying you you get you you able to do what you want to do and the only reason i'm reacting to this video because i'm hey cool people you know what i'm saying i ain't trying to do you out bold you know what i'm saying get your views get your so ddg does have a heart for people and i'm just gonna say this now i always looked at ddg as a good caring person and uh, it's just, uh, I don't know, like, what comes behind it. Like, when it comes down to, you know, if he falling out with someone, someone has to expose him, maybe because he is who he is. But he did have a good heart. But he also want people to do right as well. Just like Germany Girl wanted him to do right towards her, instead of just using her as views and for views, for content. You can't really put people emotions like that. Now, I don't know how serious it was behind the scenes, but it's just kind of like, I would not be going across the country to be meeting somebody I know. Like, I don't understand that she was already in town, but no. Nah. <laughs> so here's what the tweets or the DMs what was exposed said. Okay, y'all, so that was apparently the conversation that was between her and DDG, and she felt like she had still a little bit more. So, y'all going to subscribe to her OnlyFans, because obviously it looks like now she's trying to get a clout, but I don't know what she's going with this. But how do y'all feel about her also trying to attempt to expose DDG? Like, how do y'all feel about that? Before I any further... You guys got to cut me some slack with my opinion. And when I mean with my opinion, with my opinion that I'm going to stand strong on, okay? My last video, y'all was a little slick in the comment section. I just want to let y'all know, look, we can agree, we can disagree. But let me just say this, though. My opinion is going to stay how I think of things. You're not going to change the way I, I feel about certain things stuff or you don't you're not going to sit here and try to correct me because now if i may give incorrect facts which i try not to get incorrect facts on here i try not to but yet and still i'm going to stick with what i believe in if you feel like i need new equipment for you to buy me a mic buy something for you i'll be happier for you okay 
let's just dress the elephant in the room because y'all was real trying to be slick in the comment section on my last video. But anyways, <laughs> I'm, I had to say it. And there is a brand exposed, brand exposed. I have created some new products for my cosmetics line, which is Raquel Cosmetics. So make sure y'all check out Raquel Cosmetics Affordable Great Makeup. And that is it for today's video. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one.